What you are looking at is not a fire purposely created through a small line of gas. It is also not a work of modern art. Instead, this unusual flame behind the waterfall is completely natural in origin. Known as the Eternal Flame Falls, this feature is completely natural long-term fire caused by the slow release of highly flammable natural gas in the vicinity. This gas originates from a natural hydrocarbon seep situated within a small opening behind the waterfall. It releases approximately 2.2 pounds or 1 kilogram of methane each day and likely has been emitting this gas for thousands of years if not longer. Although this fire occasionally has to be relit, it will likely continue to serve as a geologic wonder for many years to come. So, why exactly does this feature exist? The Eternal Flame Falls is located in far western New York State where it is 14.5 miles south-southeast of the city of Buffalo. The actual feature is located at the coordinates shown on screen and can be reached via a short 20 minute hike from a nearby parking lot which takes you alongside a local riverbed. As you enter the hiking trail within the dense forest, your nose might detect a rotten egg-like smell. Since natural gas has no odors which people can detect, the gas is not specifically the cause of the smell. Rather, the smell is caused by a separate product associated with natural gas, hydrogen sulfide. Reaching the riverbed, you might notice spots where the water is bubbling upwards along with faint oil sheens. Both of these features are not directly caused by the Eternal Flame Falls itself, but rather a group of several dozen smaller petroleum and natural gas seeps which are one to three orders of magnitude smaller than the main feature. All of these hydrocarbons originate 400 meters or 1300 feet underground in a rock formation known as the Rhinestreet Shale. This layer of material originated approximately 375 million years ago when much of the planet looked very different. At the time, Earth was 4 degrees Celsius or 7.2 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than it is today, giant fungi up to 26 feet tall were common in the primitive fern forests, and the western 80% of what is now the United States was covered by a giant shallow sea. This area included the western section of New York State which at the time was in the southern hemisphere. Numerous fishes and corals lived in this sea, but more importantly, there was a healthy population of microscopic plankton. Over millions of years, billions of these tiny creatures died and their remains settled onto the ocean floor. Layer after layer then piled on top of one another and was interspersed with particles of clay, silt, and other sediments. This material was subsequently buried by hundreds of feet thick of non-hydrocarbon bearing sedimentary rock during which the plankton slowly began turning into natural gas and oil. Then, 300 million years ago, the area rose permanently above sea level. In more recent times, the area experienced minor amounts of faulting, which created large cracks and minor offset in the natural gas-rich shale layer. Natural gas then slowly escaped through these faults before reaching the surface through a series of seeps. Although the rate of natural gas release from the main seep might seem high, I did the math and it releases the same volume of methane that a family of five in the United States does each year, presuming that the hypothetical family uses natural gas. Long-term fires caused by burning hydrocarbons are surprisingly common around the world, with three more unique examples being the Smoking Hills in Canada, Yanar Dag in Azerbaijan, and Burning Mountain in Australia. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank Mac Beach for supporting this channel.